Welcome back, friends, for another installment of Guess the Air Gun Blindfolded. Today, pellet pistols. Am I going to win? Who knows? Throw us a like down below if you like these types of videos. We'll keep doing more of them. Comment and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you at the end of the video. Oh, Jesus. So it's a brake barrel. Brake barrel? With the... This is how Matt Murdock, the daredevil, must feel, you know? Except I can't, uh, I don't have like sonar echolocation. Hey, hello, darling. Ugh, brake barrel pistol, really? Uh huh, okay. Where's the safety? Uh huh. Sheesh. Okay, that's a brake barrel pistol. Uh, based on how bulky it is and heavy. Uh, it's either a Hudson or a Benjamin Trail, but I don't think Benjamin Trail has this grip. Rear sights right there. I th think, oh, I think I feel fiber optics. It's an interesting grip. Is this, hmm. Trail 1P pistol, I hope. Right. Yeah, I know it's a brake barrel pistol, obviously. It's, I don't think it's, it's not the Diana one. We're gonna go with the Trail MP. It is the Umarax Tray Box. Uh, fiber optic, okay. Is this, uh, that's also fiber optic, oh. <laughs> so it's not the Gamo, it's definitely, this is an Umarax product. The Hudson's usually put open size way too far out. This one a little bit more thought out. <laughs> Could also be a Numerex. I want to say from the safety that I feel, the Umrex mm, Travex? Correct. Sweet. I think Umrex Trevox. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was just messing with one of these the other day. All right. I'm going to go with the Hudson. Uh, what Umrex, is it? Umrex Trevox. I knew that's a possibility. It's a revolver, no grips. Oh, yeah, bottom, t whatever this is called. This is. This is a Colt Peacemaker. Um, oh, I don't remember if the Duke ones have the badge, but it's a Colt Peacemaker for sure, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with Colt Peacemaker. All right, it's the Remington 1875. Jeez, oh, Pete, really? I can't tell the difference between those two. Pistol again? I knew you were going to pick this. Uh, uh huh. It's silver, isn't it? White grips. Remington 1875. Yes. I knew you were going to pick it. I don't know why, but I knew you were going to pick this. You can't pick a regular Peacemaker. Well, right, but I mean, there's. Give it away. if you would have picked a Schofield, I'd have been boned. Still going for the pistols. Well, that's a Peacemaker by Umrex. Wow, that, that quick, huh? Sure. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a peacemaker. <laughs> right, I'm taking it away because you're wrong. You're wrong. It's a Remington 1875. Oh. Hang on a minute. Hang on. 
Give me, put your hand out. Do you, do you feel this feel part here? Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. Not a peacemaker. All right. You know better than that. Fine, it is a Remington. Yes. <sighs> I know it's a revolver. I can't think of it. Um, so Winchester 1888? Made by Gletcher? Nope. Damn it. Oh, it was a Remington. Damn it. <laughs> And I was off with the ear. <laughs> I'm not guessing years. I'm not going off for years now. Hmm. So it's got a Beretta like safety, slide like. Oh. Oh. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Mm, so, feels like a, the Brada FS92 again. Which one? Oh, got that. Another pistol? This is so odd. Okay, uh, whoa. That is heavy. Non blowback. Okay, I think I know what this is. Hang on a minute. Where's the thing? Come on, girl. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, this is a. That's an Omorex Beretta 92. Yeah, nice. Judge, yep. Judges, well done. Mm -hmm. Now, what color is it? What color? Black. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So like no actual weight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Based on the weight, Actually, the I would say nickel. That's the... It is the Beretta that's made... By Umrex. Is it the Beretta? I think Beretta makes this. Is this one actually made by Beretta? No, 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 no. This is the Umrex Beretta. And it's the 92F. Mm. Beretta 92FS. Oh, sorry, FS. For fast shooting. Get it to open up. All right, I'm going with the Beretta FS92. The Pellet gun, though, right? Correct. Beretta, this is made by Umarex, but this is one of the made in Germany uh, Beretta 92 FS. Yeah, but what color? I can't. Hang on. Oh, no, I got you, big guy. You wouldn't have picked one of the blued ones. This is silver. Oh, right, you got your half point back. It's silver, isn't it? That's silver. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's plastic, single stroke pneumatic. Hmm. All right, it's plastic. Oh, let's always feel the bottom of the grip here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's the safety. This has got to be a, a Beeman P3 or P P17 or. You're close. Okay. Can you tell the difference? Between a P3 and a P17? Mm -hmm. No, they're like a it's like a replica. I don't think. Oh, mm-hmm, okay. So it's either a P17 or a P3. Can he tell the difference? It's a P17. That's like a Desert Eagle, but it's not, it's not. It's either B1 P3 or B1 P17.
Yeah. I want to say, knowing how cheap you guys are, a beam and P17. Mm, are you sure? No, come on. Yeah, it's beam and P17. It's a P3. It's a P3. You it's the same thing. That's right. I, I, I did the same thing. You cannot possibly say P17 or P3 are, are not going to feel the same. Trick question. Yeah. Well, so you a, cannot. There's a $250 difference. <laughs> it's like a half point. Is it a beam and P3? No. Yeah, it's a beam and P3. Yeah. Yeah, single stroke pneumatic. Um, I'm going, I'll go with P17. I hope. <laughs> it's good. Close, it's the P3. Oh. It's the beam P3. That's why I don't know if I, you put a P17 in my hand if I could tell the difference blindfolded. P17. Nope. It's a P3? It's a P3. No way. And the big difference is, is a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, right. I mean, you can't guess that you can't. They feel pretty much identical. I, you know, that's a half point basically, too. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, yeah you can't. Can only be one of two. Yeah, wrong answers only, right? Like, right. you know, it's what a. Thanks for joining us today as we did Guessing Pellet Pistols Blindfolded. How do you guys think it went? Let us know down in the comments below. If you had fun watching the video today, throw us a like, we'd appreciate it a ton. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of this awesome content. We'll see you next time. I don't know what we're gonna be looking at, but we'll see you then. Have a good one.